Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Um, there has been an update recently. I believe it's called the one, uh, rather, um, point two five update, rather point twenty five. Um, so a couple of new things have been added to Kerbal since the last recording that I've done. Um, some of them obvious, some of them not so obvious. I'll start with the most obvious one that I can think of, which is this new building down here. It's called the Administration Building. And, like the Mission Control Center, gives us the ability to do more things with our program. So, uh, what is the Administration Building? Well, we can actually select strategies for the way our um, space program works. And that'll affect the way we uh, earn our major forms of in-game currency, such as science, uh, production, um, funds, reputation... I believe that's actually what that is. Uh, anyway, each one of those four major ideas corresponds with four different Kerbals here. Mortimer, Linus, Walt, and Gus. Each relating to their own... their own ideas. Um, Mortimer, for example, is the finances fellow, so he'll offer strategies to uh, earn more finances. As I understand it, the general idea behind the strategies is that you are sacrificing one form of currency in exchange for another. For example, the fundraising campaign that Mortimer suggests um, is sort of a thing where it sacrifices reputation uh, for money. The idea behind that being that um, reputation... By the way, in case I haven't made it quite clear, science seems to be my main goal in the game, although it looks like we're going to be earning it really, really early and probably maxing that out fairly soon. Um, but aside from science, we also have finances. The more money you have, the easier it is to launch rockets, or rather, the, the more rockets you can launch, or the more you can do with your program, because you're well-funded. Uh, public relations, or um, reputation. What that means is that the higher reputation you have... Um, I believe it means the more prestigious missions you get at Mission Control, which means that you get to earn more reputation. It's sort of like a, um, a prestige um, currency. I'm not sure what else it does. Maybe someone else has a better idea than me. Uh, then Operations is various miscellaneous things that you can do, with, functions you can do with your uh, space program, uh, such as um, not having to pay extra funds in the first place, or um, being able to recover your vessels and gain more money because of it. So, in this particular instance, I'm going to be focusing on money and science, because science is very close to being maxed out already, at least in my save file, and money we could always do with. I don't so much need to worry about our um, public relations yet, because we've already got a fair amount up here as it is, and the operations will... We don't really, really need to worry about any of these, because one of these involves um, launch uh, costs, but we only need to launch one more system in the first place, so not too big of a deal. And the other one involves recovery, but the problem is that we're launching rockets right now. We don't have to worry about recovering something for quite a while. We're setting things up rather than putting them back down, and we will be doing that for quite a while, so I'm not really going to focus on recovery just yet. So, who do we go to for science and finances? Well, we've got Linus here, who has a couple of options available to us. Uh, one of them is unpaid research, which is basically spending reputation for science. Or, uh, I believe this is spending money for, um, for science. So, we could either pay for science with our cash or with our reputation. I um, choose to pay for it with reputation. Apparently, it's irreputable or dishonorable to have unpaid interns. Uh, that's fairly debatable, but take of that what you will. I will be committing 10% of that. Uh, we have the slider down here that lets you commit a certain amount of reputation for science. If you bring it all the way up to 100, you won't be earning any reputation at all, and you'll be pouring that all into science. But if you'll notice, the number, um, rather the yields up there on the top beneath uh, effects, really isn't that big of a difference. So I'm just going to commit to about 10% of it. That way we can still... Uh, bleh, earn reputation in some manner or another. So I'll be focusing on unpaid research. And we'll be uh, adding a funding campaign. Basically exchanging reputation for uh, funding. I'm only going to commit 5% to that because I still want to earn some reputation. And we're fairly good as far as money goes, so I'll leave that as is and accept. You'll notice that after I've chosen these here that some of these other options have turned dark. Uh, and we're not able to activate them right now because they would contradict with the ones we already have. Uh, patents, uh, patents uh, for example, would be taking out um, science for funding. 
but we are already earning, I believe we're already earning funding and we're already earning science, so there'd be no reason to do this because it would basically cancel out our other missions. Same thing goes for uh, outsourced uh, R&D. We're already, with our um, unpaid research, exchanging, um, let's see, am I understanding this right? It looks like we're already exchanging funds of money. Okay, I'm talking over myself. Basically, that's the gist of it. I think more strategies become available to you as the game progresses, but I'm not sure. We'll have to see how that turns out. Maybe they'll also turn up in future updates, too. Uh, let's see. Next up on the list is a pretty handy one, if I understand it correctly. So let's go check it out. Uh, it requires going to visit the Charon, because the Charon also benefits from this update as well. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, and we are at the Charon now. So... A couple of things of note here, but I believe have changed in the 2.5 update, uh, or at least one that I can display right here. Um, ordinarily, if we want to retrieve data from the outside, or rather, if we want to transfer curls between these different pods here, let me go into the light so we can see what we're doing a bit more, uh, we would have to EVA out. Like, I'd have to grab Bill and pull him out here, and then use the ladder to move him up and down, or e maybe even float around in a jetpack. But, if I understand the update correctly, we no longer need to do that. Uh, for example, let's see, if I click on a hatch for one of these pods here, for example, and then right-click it, or was it left-click? Let's see. Try left-clicking it. Hmm. Oh, okay, here we go. Never mind. I'll admit I've never done it before, so I'm not entirely sure. The idea is that if you click the transfer button over here, instead of going uh, to the EVA, you can uh, switch him... Uh, to a different module if you're choosing. And the ones that you can choose are highlighted. See how the science lab is highlighted? This uh, pod right here is highlighted. There. So now he's in the lander can. And we didn't have to risk bumping into any of the solar panels or doing anything, really. This makes it much more efficient than transfer between two different parts of your ship. And more importantly, it actually opens up a way to salvage uh, a Kerbal who's landed on EVE. But you'll see what I mean later on. Let's see. So if I... Oops. Let's see, let's... Yeah, transfer him back for now, because we don't need him to be there. There we go. Anyway, that's about as much as I wanted to show you here. Um, moving on. Okay, so there are two main things that have been included in this update. One of them is that... Um, Destroying property is now an option. We can actually destroy parts of our own, um, space center. Allow me to demonstrate. I'm going to aim our rocket, like a missile, at this building here. Zoom out so we can see the full effects. Look at that. The entire building comes down, lights on fire, and then is no more. So you might be thinking the entire campaign has just been ruined because of the fact that we destroyed the rocket assembly building and therefore we should not be able to build any more missions. That's bad, as you can imagine. We... we don't have a choice. We need to go back to the space center. And we need to do something about this. Now. This building is a wreck, and we can repair it for an insane amount of money, mind you, but we can do it. If I were to click the repair button, we would have to spend a ton of our money up here, but the trade-off is that we now have a functioning system here again. Now, that was a very expensive thing that I showed you, and I really hope I don't ever have to show you that again. Uh, in fact, I might have to go back into my mission list right here and pick some more missions just to try to offset the amount of destruction I just did. But I won't do that on camera. Um, that's more or less the gist of things. Um, so that's basically it. Starting in the next episode, we will continue our adventures into space and travel ever further towards the planet Eve. Uh, until then, everyone, stay tuned and good night.